name's Faye and I'm from the YouTube channel Flora Sophia and over on my channel I make revision and study themed videos along with the odd couple of hauls and Q&As and today I'm going to be talking you through my top five tips to prepare before the exam in terms of things you can be doing for revision and kind of just recapping over everything you know so as soon as you walk into that exam hall you feel so much more confident and a lot more positive and hopefully you're going to come out with some amazing results. So as a bit of background I am currently in year 11 myself so I will be sitting all my exams in May and June and yeah I'm just going to be telling you my top five tips for things you can be doing which hopefully will help you out. So my first tip is to use flashcards and cue cards as a kind of recall process. So there is a slight difference. So a cue card is where you have a question on the front and a answer on the back and a flashcard is kind of like um, like a proper flashcard which is loads of information on. So my advice for you is to take cue cards. Things like Quizlet are great for this and just ask yourself loads of questions and see how well you can answer them. As this is kind of just recalling and testing your memory, try and do this every week. So um, maybe each day of the week you do it for a different subject or you could do it five days a week and two subjects each day. Depends on how many subjects you study, etc. But yeah, I find this works really, really well because not only is it testing you on your information, but it's also testing, do you remember what you actually wrote down? So that's my first tip for you, just recall information and this is one of the best ways to do it. Also, you could use your actual flashcards with your condensed notes on them and go and ask someone, can you test me? And they could say the first word of the sentence or they could come up with a question which then answers. So yeah, get people to test you on things like that. But I definitely think flashcards and cue cards are a really, really good way to go about preparing before the exam. The next tip is to use revision guides and workbooks and do the practice questions in there. So Jen has actually made her own. These are absolutely incredible. These are free on her website or you can go onto Amazon and purchase them if you want the proper book like this and I especially like this maths one so each um, page has like a different topic and then you can go ahead and do the question and she's also made videos which coincide and uh, I use workbooks for pretty much all my subjects because I find this is one of the best ways to do it by getting practice subjects for like maths especially you need to just practice 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 and workbooks and practice questions are a really really good way and again like in her science revision guide there are loads of questions and activities to do. So my advice for you is a couple of weeks before the exam, start doing practice questions. Once you've got all your notes out of the way and you know everything as much as you possibly can, this is the time then to put that into practice because you'll easily flag up something that you don't know. You could think you know absolutely everything and then you get given this question and you're like, what? I thought I knew everything, but you don't. So I would definitely recommend just go ahead, get a workbook or find questions online, past papers, and just go ahead and test yourself. It's also really good if you want to do past papers to do them in time conditions, as this then is like putting a little bit of pressure on you, and it shows how well you cope under pressure, and I find this is another really good way to prepare, because it can show how much you can actually write in a certain amount of time, or how much you can remember and plan, and things like that. My third top tip for revision is to use the Pomodoro method, kind of before, when you just want to do some revision, and you want to to be tight and effective. So I found the app Be Focused really works for me. So it gives you 25 minute slots, each with a five minute break in between. And then once you've done enough 25 minute slots, you then get a much longer break, which is about 15 or 20 minutes. And I find this works really, really well because it's so much more effective. And also you are doing so much more. I am so much more productive when I'm using this because I just switch off my phone and I'm distraction free basically. And I just get on with it. And also I like being under that time pressure kind of makes me do it I'm like okay I need to do this in this set amount of time whereas if I go oh no I don't need like a time scale or a vision timetable I take so much longer to do stuff and I get hardly anything done so my tip is to use that Pomodoro method and to also create yourself a revision timetable I know I've done a video on that and Jen has also done that so definitely go check those out but a revision timetable just really helps you to see what you need to do in that short amount of time and then this way it's so much more motivating because you're like 
right, I have to get this done now. I don't have any other time to do it. So definitely check that out. Think about the best ways that it's going to work for you. If you're someone who doesn't stick to a timetable, I recommend maybe trying things like a weekly task or a daily to-do list. But I find these kind of things just work so much more effectively. My fourth tip is something to do with mind maps. So if you've come from my channel, you will know I'm a big lover of mind maps. I use mind maps for nearly all my subjects as this is what I find just works really well for me. I'm such a visual person. I can't, you know, I'm not kinesthetic or anything. I am just so visual. So for me, a mind map is key as when I get into the exam, I can kind of start to remember what it looks like, where things were in each section. So to get the best use out of this, I would recommend getting a little post-it note and putting them over each section of your mind map and write down maybe five questions which have the answer on your mind map, if that makes sense. And then what you can do is you can either test yourself or get someone else to test you and ask you those five questions and the answer should be within your mind map. So if you've learned that mind map really, really well, it should be really quick fire, which is perfect. And this is just a really, really good way to make sure you know your information. As a mind my map is very much condensed information in a more creative and spider diagram kind of way rather than just boring old notes. So if you've done that properly, you should have no problem answering these questions and I just find this is a really, really good way to again be testing yourself, very similar to like the flashcards and the past paper questions, it's all about just testing as this just helps to build up some confidence and to also just make sure you do know what you need to know. My final top tip is to use post-it notes, I'm a big lover of these, especially for science and for languages. So for science, what I will do is I will put up for example, what is the word equation for this? And on the back I'll have the equation or what is the iron symbol for hydrogen and on the back I'll have the answer. This is also really good for vocab, for languages, so you can put the English on the front and your language whatever you do, I do French on the back and just scatter these all around your room or around your house and every time you walk past it, don't just skip it, like look at it and answer it or do, you know, if you've put a question on there, answer that question. If you've said a word, make sure you know it, you know, and read it out loud every time as well because you can eventually remember, I've walked past it, I said this, this is what I said back. So I think a post-it note is a really, really effective way. I would really recommend this, especially kind of like in the build up towards the exam as this is just testing you all the time, like putting you on the spot and by that point you should be able to like recall everything and as soon as you walk past you can just go, I know this. So I would definitely check that out if you haven't already. Try it, see if it works for you, but I found this really worked for me. I really hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, let me know down below. Let me know something new that you learned or something new that you're going to try out. And also, Jen has done a video over on my channel, so if you want to go check out her video for a load of advice and tips, definitely go check that out. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel, and if you'd like to see more videos like this, feel free to go and subscribe over on my channel as it's kind of more from a student's perspective and yeah I really hope you've enjoyed this video from me if you did leave it a thumbs up and I will see you all on my channel very soon bye